the first victory was in the time of Nabi Muhammad The Constantinople which was victorious in the time of the Prophet because of Allah's help, listen to me. It was a Constantinople which for, for the last 300 years was still believing in the Trinity. And for the last 300 years was worshipping Jesus as God and the Son of God. And yet, and yet, and yet Allah helped them. And yet they were victorious. And when they were victorious, we celebrated. Not only we, even Nabi Muhammad celebrated. I know some of you are angry with Allah. I know some of you have more knowledge in your heads than Allah in the Quran, but you get lost, get lost. You can't stand up in the way of truth. Truth will destroy you. Truth will throw you to the wilderness. And this is truth from the Quran. So you better listen to me now before it's too late for you. The Constantinople, which was victorious at the time of the Prophet was a Constantinople which already had embraced the Trinity and was worshipping Jesus, the Son of God. And when the second victory is to come, it will still be a Christian people. And they'll still be worshipping Jesus as the Son of God and embrace the Trinity. That second victory, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. You should only accept my opinion when you're convinced that I'm correct. I don't want brainwash people following me and students. I don't want that. I want those who follow me, I want them to be critical thinkers. Like I was with my teacher. Mm -hmm. Russia will defeat NATO in this second, in this world war which is coming. And that victory of Russia would be the second victory of Rome that Allah speaks of in the Quran. So if Russia will, vict will be victorious over NATO, how will Turkey survive? The Turkish army is the biggest army, the biggest military in Europe at this time, I believe. But it will all be gone. It will all be gone, it will be finished. Russia will finish it in the war which is coming, provided that Turkey fights with NATO. I don't see any possibility at all of Turkey departing from its Ottoman profile <laughs> and, and staying out of that great war or fighting with Russia. That's not possible. The Ottoman profile is eternal hatred for Russia and eternal hatred for the Otto Orthodox Christian people. So yes, the Orthodox Christians in Greece are going to smile. They will smile in Thessaloniki when they listen to this video. They will smile in Athens. They'll smile in Belgrade. But I don't know about the Muslims in Bosnia and Albania and Macedonia and so on, who have adopted this, this adoration for the Ottoman profile. I tell you, there's a surprise coming. The conquest of Constantinople by a Muslim army, prophesied by Nabi Muhammad will take place after the Great War. Let the sheep and the cattle and the goats and the camels believe it already took place in 1452. That's the way sheep and cattle believe. My language is harsh, yes, I know. But what can I do when people refuse to think? They're sheep and cattle. The conquest of Constantinople prophesied by Nabi Muhammad has not as yet taken place. Let the sheep and the cattle bleat about what they want to say, they can't change the truth. And that conquest of Constantinople by a Muslim army, 
praised by the Prophet and the commander is praised La taftahanna al-Kunstantiniyya wa la ni'ma al-Amiru amiruha wa la ni'ma al-Jaysh thalika al-Jaysh That army will be able to conquer Constantinople. Why? Because NATO won't be around at that time. <laughs> and the Turkish army will not be around at that time. I am doing this video to convey this news to you for the first time. I never did it before. This is the bad news because you put so much hope in Turkey because you were brainwashed by the Ottoman Empire. You must wake up and begin to be able to think and use the Quran as your primary source of knowledge the way I am able to do it because I am faithful to the Quran. I always pray to Allah to give me that knowledge. And he has given to me knowledge, I can't hide it. So I'm able to get away from the brainwashing. Yes, there's much that the Ottoman Empire did that I was always pleased with. And I've spoken about it. But this part of the Ottoman Empire has to be revealed. That they work consistently to sabotage the end-time friendship and alliance between the Ummah of Nabi Muhammad والسلام, and the Ummah of Nabi Isa والسلام, the followers of Jesus. The Muslim army will be able to conquer Constantinople easily at that time because there will be Turkish Muslims fighting in that army. Turkish Muslims who have not been brainwashed by the Ottoman Empire and by the present Turkish government. There'll be Arab Muslims fighting in that army. It won't be Arab governments. No, no, it'll be people fighting in that army. And there will be people from, uh, from Khorasan fighting in that army. There'll be people from Algeria fighting in that army. Algeria has a backbone. So it will be a people's army, not a government army that will liberate Constantinople. Finally, you know my views on this subject. I know that all, all of Pakistan was celebrating, yes, because of this phenomenal brainwashing when Hagia Sophia was converted to a masjid for a second time, shamefully, disgracefully, manifestly, sinfully. All of Pakistan was congratulating Erdogan. I know about this total brainwashing, but the Pakistani people have a nice way about them. That when the truth is presented to them from the Quran, and they recognize it to be the truth, they accept it. Despite all the brainwashing. This is my experience in six weeks that I've been here. Six weeks and not a single Pakistani has come forward to challenge me. Say, no, you're wrong. We're right. Not, it has not happened. This is a wonderful thing about Pakistan. So you know my view. That the conversion of Hagia Sophia, the first time to a masjid, was shameful and disgraceful and sinful. And the second time was even more shameful and more disgraceful and more <coughs> sinful. And so why would we conquer Constantinople after the Great War? You may have a different answer. I had a different answer when I began lecturing on this subject. It was perhaps 2011, 10 years ago. <coughs> I gave my first lecture on this subject uh, at the International Islamic University in Malaysia. It was in the masjid and there were a few thousand students present and there were lots of Turkish professors sitting right in front of me. I don't think they enjoyed our lecture. <laughs> so at that time, this was my view. And now different, I have a different view because I'm growing, alhamdulillah, in understanding the subject. I now say the primary reason why we will conquer Constantinople <laughs> is because we'll then 
return Hagia Sophia to the Orthodox Christian people. No people weep for Hagia Sophia more than the Greek. The Russians weep, the Serbs weep, the Romanians weep, the Bulgarians weep, the Armenians weep, but the Greek, they weep the most. That's why I promise you, as soon as the COVID restrictions on travel are removed, I will come to visit you in Greece, inshallah, and I'm going to come up to Thessaloniki, inshallah, definitely, inshallah, because you weep the most for Hagia Sophia. So you will be the happiest of all when we conquer Constantinople and they can't stop us. And we return Hagia Sophia to you and they cannot stop us. And when we return Hagia Sophia to you, at that time, if not before, you will remember me and you will remember what we, this truth has come from the Quran. And this truth, which makes you so happy, has come from a man named Muhammad You would recognize that this is indeed a prophet of the one God. The whole Orthodox Christian world will, <laughs> will forget all the years of brainwashing. This truth has come from this man. He is indeed a prophet of the one God. And this Quran has to be the word of the one God. The differences between us and this Quran, the Lord God will explain to us on Judgment Day. You do not have to join the community of people who follow Muhammad You still remain Christians. But now between us and you, there'll be friendship, there'll be love, and there'll be alliance. And that is what the enemy does not want. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bring that day soon when the world of Islam and the world of Orthodox Christianity will reconcile despite 600 years of brutal Ottoman bogus jihad and oppression, relentless oppression. Despite all of that, that you and I, you and us will re reconcile and there'll be friendship between us as there's already friendship between me and many Orthodox Christians, Alhamdulillah. And there'll be love between us and there'll be an alliance. And it is this alliance between us, those who follow Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, and those who follow Jesus, Allah's blessing be upon him. It is this alliance which will take us to the end of history and to the triumph of truth. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.